Hi, it's Legionero back with another video. Today I want to do a really quick video on how to show you to show you how to add an offset around an image using Canva. Now you can do this in Cricut Design Space, but sometimes Cricut Design Space um, can take a little bit longer to do it. So when that happens, um, I always go over to Canva and add my offsets. Um, and then um, transfer the file over to Cricut Design Space. So I'm in Canva and I do have Canva Pro, but you should be able to do this um, in the free version. So I'm going to hit Create a Design. I always do custom size. Uh oh. <laughs> it went a little faster than I wanted to. Create a Design, Custom Size, right? You change this to inches and then you type in the size that you want to use. You hit create new design. All right, and then you want to upload your images. If they are not already uploaded, you want to go to uploads. And you want to upload files. And then you go through the process of finding the files on your computer, whether you save them on the desktop, um, whether you save them in pictures, documents, wherever you save your images. And your dialog box will pop up. You find your image, you click on it and click open, and Canva will upload your image for you. All right. Now, once you get your image, you just click on it. And once you click on it, it will go over to um, your page. And I'm just going to actually let me use a different image because this has white on it. I think most of them have white on it. <laughs> Let's see. This one's a little bit better. Um, even though it does have white on it, the white is here instead of at the top. All right, so once you have your image on your page, you click Edit Image. Mine is already here, but I'm going to show you where it is. You scroll down to Shadows, and you hit Glow. All right, and it'll do something over here. You hit Glow a second time, right, because you want the menu. You take your blur down to zero, and you can type in these boxes too. And then you take your transparency up to 100, and you see it put a little black line around it. Um, it's there, even though it's a little bit harder to see. Um, so, of course, I want the offset to go all the way around. So, I'm going to change my size to about 13 and see what happens. All right. So, now you see the little black line a little bit better, but I want it to cover all of these white spaces as well. So I'm going to go up to about 16, see what that does. Hmm. Let's do 20. We're almost there. <laughs> All right. Just trying different numbers because I want all of these little white spaces gone because if not, Cricut will cut these white spaces. So I'll say 30, let's do 33. All right, so you just keep playing with it till you get the offset that you want. Once you get the offset that you want, if you want to change the color, I'm going to leave mine at black, but if you want to change the color, you just click on color and you scroll down and you find the color that you want. All right, and you just click on the color, it will change the color for you. All right, once you have the offset the way you want it, and you have the color background color that you want, you just click apply. All right, and then right now, you see how wide the box is? The box is gonna change, and that's how you know that Canva is finished doing what it needs to do. And that should happen here in a few minutes. There we go. <laughs> and you see how my box changed? It's now kind of hugging the image. And now you're done. All right, I'm going to do one more. So I'm going to go back to my uploads. I'm going to take this down a little bit and bring my screen 
up a little bit all right so I'll choose this one right. and I'm just moving this up so it'll be a little bit closer um, that bottom part there so again go to edit image I'm going to go down here to shadows and hit glow Right, and then you see it put like a little glow around it. Hit glow again to get your menu. Take your blur down to zero, your transparency up to a hundred. Right, and now you have your little black line around it. Change the size, we'll do 15. Right, still has some little white spots around it. So let's do 25. I think I still have one little spot here. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> that little spot is not going away. If you don't take these spots away, Cricut will try to cut those spots. All right. So now I have it like I want it. I have the background color that I want. I'm just going to hit apply. wait for it to finish up all right so now it's finished and you can size it you can size it before you put the offset on it um, all right so <laughs> it's gonna change back I don't know why it looks like that but it's gonna change back in a minute um, all right so once you get all your images with the offsets around them let me show you what my page looks like. All right, so this is my page. I have all of my offsets around everything, and I just duplicated it so I would have a whole page. All right, once you're satisfied, if you use a white offset, all you got to do is click the background and just change the background. All right, because you're going to take that background off anyway once you get to Cricut Design Space. All right, so once you're satisfied, you go to share, you go down to download, and you want to download it as a PNG. If you have Canva Pro, you can do transparent background, it'll do that for you, but if not, just download it as a PNG. You hit download. I'm going to make sure I don't do that first page, only the second page. Um, so you hit download, and it'll download for you here at the bottom. Then you go over to Cricut Design Space. Right? In Cricut Design Space, you hit New Project. And it should take you to a blank canvas. Right, here we go. Once your canvas pops up, you want to go here to Uploads. Mine is down here at the bottom. My little record thing is in the way. I don't. You probably can't see it, but my little record thing is in the way. So I'm gonna hit Upload here. You probably can see Upload on the screen. I just can't see it. <laughs> hit Upload. Right, and you go Upload Image browse and it's in your download folder so that's where you're going to find it you can drag and drop files as well all right so i'm going to hit downloads i'm going to click on my image and hit open right here i'm going to hit complex and continue this is where you'll remove this background right here. So you can make this bigger so you can see a little bit better. But just click on the background, not anything else. All right, and it took away that background. And now you have a transparent background. All right, hit apply and continue. You wanna do print then cut image. 
when I first got my Cricut print and cut was over here. So when they changed it, <laughs> I almost made a lot of mistakes. All right, hit upload. And when it uploads, it'll come to your recent uploads. You click on it and click add to canvas. And it's going to come onto the canvas way bigger than it should. <laughs> Even though in Canva you put it, you sized it to the size that you wanted it. Um, you click here to unlock your proportions. You 6.75 by 9.25. All right, make sure you save it here at save. You hit save, give it a name, and then hit save. Right, once you get ready to make it, you do make it. Alright, and it will show you how it will look on your mat. You hit continue. You hit send to printer. You choose your printer functions. Yours will look different from mine. All right, I don't add bleed. Sometimes I do because sometimes if you don't, you don't want any white. If you're doing a black background, you don't want any white. So I, I can leave the bleed on here and then use system dialog, hit print. It will pull up your printer and you change all the properties and everything that you're going to change. Um, so let's see, I'll choose my printer. I always hit preferences to make sure that color ink is um, selected and not black and white All right so yes yeah, just make sure it's color hit OK and then you hit print I'm not gonna print it because I've already printed it out but you would hit print all right and then it will come to this screen all right and you just make sure um, if you have a, a maker you can change your settings here but on the explorer air 2 you have to change your dial so you have the right um setting and then after that the cricut does its thing all right um once cricut finish cutting um you will have a sheet of stickers all right here is my sticker kit all cut you can see the cut lines here and you can see um i added the um oh gosh what is it called <laughs> uh bleed you see how i added the bleed and it, it cut and there's still some um black around here that's so i wouldn't have any white in my cut of my sticker so i really um love doing this in canva all right so here i'm just pulling up a sticker um, so you can see that it is a kiss cut sticker you can definitely cut these in die cut stickers if you want to um which is about die cut sticker but again canva is just another alternative to adding an offset around an image if cricut design space is um, being a little bit slow um, with adding the offset around the image. So if you have any questions, place them in the comments below and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.